Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 15th to the 21st of June 2015. Now, the big news of this week is, again, quite a multi-layered one, but we're building up to the summer solstice. So if you can visualise the sun growing to the height of its strength by the 21st to the 24th next weekend, then we're indeed growing with that strength. So in astrology, we have the sun warming the earth and nourishing with its life force energy. And inside the body, we have biophoton light in all of our cells, which is made of the same substance as the sun a trillion cells running through our body, our life force energy. So when we work with the solstices and the equinoxes, we are currently uh, working with our life force energy as it comes to full strength. And we've got a couple of aspects here that are really useful. So the sun is moving very close to Mars at the moment. And this is really gorgeous because we've had a whole year, if not more, of deep introspection. We've had a whole period of two and a half years of going in and finding our shadow, finding our repressed anger and our repressed emotions and clearing out that subconscious magnet. So sometimes it feels like we're on a long haul and it's all about going in and clearing and doing the hard work. But now we've done a lot of that and we've gone through a lot of Gemini energy where we've cleared up and aligned our thoughts as well. As Mars comes to meet the sun over the next week, we've got chance to take all of this life force energy and direct it with purpose higher purpose so it's very passionate catalytic and energizing and if any dross needs to be burnt out in order to get those channels clear then this is the time that that's happening so any last repression any anger any frustration could be that you've just got blockages in the way but this is a very hot fiery energy that should be able to burn through anything that's resistance anything that's block clear those channels like the ultimate reiki healing and then we come into the new moon in Gemini where we can actually activate that with our minds as well. So huge amount of energy around this week. It's all good. Um, just a final summing up of what we've been through, a final clearing so that we're actually powered up with the sun towards the summer solstice, with the sun meeting Mars, we're actually powered up and directed for that higher purpose and that healing energy as well so that we have the energy and the strength to go forwards like the spiritual warriors that we are. Mars is the spiritual warrior. So beautiful all the way through this week, all the way through next week, Mars and Sun energy, but this is the main week for it. Align that energy. Have a look at where you may be wasting your energy or if you've given your energy away, if you're leaking energy and bring it all back. Bit of an energy retrieval week so that you're focused and pinpoint and directed. On Monday, we have a slightly more difficult aspect that's going to be running right through till September, which is Saturn has dipped back into Scorpio. So two and a half years we've already had of Saturn in Scorpio, bringing things up from the surface for revisal, for awareness. And this is actually very good because this is the closure of that whole phase of 2013, 2014. So Saturn dipping back into Scorpio, a little bit reminiscent of a couple of years ago. Any issues that come up, anything that comes to light, because Scorpio loves to dig deep and find things that are hiding. But this actually works well with the Sun and Mars, because whatever's brought up can get burnt away. So this is very Phoenix-like energy. Don't fall into the trap of, oh my God, we're back where we were before and when's it going to end and life's having a go at me. But just go in bravely. Saturn asks you to have a backbone, responsibility and discipline like a martial artist. And just take a look. There could actually be some rewards here because Saturn is also, they say, punishment and reward. But it's very much us looking at where we've done well and where we haven't. So there could be a bit of a reminiscence over the summer, but don't feel like, oh, we're back where we were. This is very much older, wiser, stronger, more core strength and more discipline. So any issues that come up from two years ago, this is the final closure and the final clearing. So be graceful, be diplomatic, explore, 
but don't hold on there's no need for attachment here just let anything go that comes up with full realization so that we can actually move forward in the autumn with all of that phase cleared for another 28 years so that's kind of good news really because with the Sun and Mars we want those channels to be cleared and then with Saturn going back into Scorpio it's going to show us any residual blocks so that we can clear them. But Monday's also the dark moon in Gemini so if it's not feeling like a, a golden day, if it's not feeling all light and breezy, again don't hold on to a long timeline there. It's just one day where we can have a look at those thoughts and emotions, the psyche and the subconscious. So we might as well go deep on Monday because it's a final clearing. Then by Tuesday we have the new moon in Gemini. So this is a once a year event and we've had lots of holding back with the Mercury retrograde and the Scorpio full moon. We've had lots of kind of holding ourselves in a bubble, lots of deep exploration but this is beginning to light the way forward now so the new moon in Gemini very active very mental but also I feel that we can use this one for healing with all the other energy around because many Gemini's can think themselves into a state Gemini is the one of the signs of healing alchemical healing with the caduceus with the twin serpents and the staff and the solar disk so it's actually raising that energy up for greater awareness. So with the new moon in Gemini, we can have a look at where our thoughts are either healing or hurting us and explore that. But with the sun and Mars again, with doing that clear channel work, um, it should be fairly quick. It should be fairly effortless to realize any existing limiting thoughts and get ourselves more aligned with a very healing modality. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the Sun and Mars getting ever closer. It's a really beautiful, hot, warm, directed energy. But on top of that, we have the Moon, Venus and Jupiter aligning in Leo. And this is ultimate feline presence, radiance and grace. So if we are going to direct ourselves, then that needs to come from the heart center and the solar plexus. So there's a great warming, and this is just such beautiful timing as the sun reaches its height, especially by Friday. The sun reaches its height on the 21st to the 24th, but by Friday with the moon, Venus, and Jupiter in Leo, then this is where we can capture that energy and we can hold it in our center and we can actually radiate effortlessly from that place of golden wonder and presence. So it feels like we need to clear the channels, go back and do the final recalibrations with Saturn, get our mind aligned to the changes that have happened so that our mind's not lagging behind or working against us, and then almost sit in that center with Jupiter and Venus especially. They're working together right through the first couple of weeks of July. And just be that presence, be the presence that you can see in the picture above. Just hold that golden space because most of the time we are actually thinking ourselves out of a state of perfection and now that we've got the Gemini, now that we've got our mind aligned, now that we've got our life force energy directed and we've cleaned out the psyche and we've brought the emotions into a coherence as well, this is a time to bask. This is a time to bask in the light, to just be present on the inside. If we're going to direct, then this is where it comes from. There's no action needed because imagine that just pulsing out, all this golden light just pulsing out of the heart center. And whatever comes out of our heart center is in electromagnetic waves and modulates back to us what we're attracting. So it's really a beautiful celebratory week. We've done the hard work. There's still more to come. There always will be. But the more clearing that we've done this year, the more reward I feel that we're going to be able to attract to us effortlessly by holding this golden feline space towards the end of the week. The solstice is an honourable phase. It's worth holding those light cells. It's worth imagining them growing with the sun's strength, feeling the life force energy flow through us and taking some time out just to honour the height of our power and our presence at this time. So many people in the modern world are coming back to celebrating 
the summer solstice. It doesn't have to be some big party, doesn't have to be some outward display, but just take a moment over the weekend to feel the life force energy, to feel your power, to energize, to reclaim any energy that's been going in the wrong directions or being wasted and just feel the golden gorgeousness of this time of year. So those are the horoscopes for this week and I'll see you next week. To celebrate the beauty of the power of nature at this summer solstice, I'll be doing one of my tree walks on Hampstead Heath on Saturday the 20th. That's 2 till 4, meet at the bandstand. Uh, £10 donation appreciated. But it's very much to go out, to meet the trees, to understand which trees which. So there's a bit of uh, tree recognition to bring your nature walks into awareness and also the magic and myth and healing law of the old Celtic system. So children and dogs welcome. Please do come along a magical tree walk on Hampstead Heath on Saturday the 20th to celebrate the solstice and the beauty of nature. On Friday the 19th of June I have a astrology yoga and the body workshop at the Light Centre in Belgravia. So for anybody that's into yoga and curious about astrology we'll be learning not only how the inner zodiac how the different signs hold stress and tension in different parts of the body with useful poses on how to release that but we'll also be looking at how to implement and work more closely with the moon cycles so that you can do your own practice or design your class in alignment with the cosmic forces so that's astrology yoga on the body at Belgravia Light Center on Friday evening um, for anybody else that's not around, that's not in London, then please do contact me. I'm available over Skype with all of my online courses and I would love to meet you for a one-to-one -one session. I incorporate free tarot and I record for you MP3. So the whole process is very personal. It works all across the globe. So it's a great time to actually direct our energy. Why not have a reading to see where the best use of your energy is for the rest of the year. So that's it and have a wonderful week and happy summer solstice.